Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Happy Saturday. It is a huge day of football today. IRL football games impacting prices, impacting cards for potential upgrades on FIFA 22 Ultimate Team. I want to talk about the games happening today with the Fantasy Foot cards and also with the Showdown Series promo. I don't believe we have any games today affecting Showdowns, but throughout this weekend and this promo, I want to talk about what this thing is about, what kind of content we're going to be getting, and of course, these cards getting upgraded, what it means for the game, what it means for the market, with just so much going on with real life football games impacting upgrades on FIFA this weekend. It's honestly crazy. EA's dropping some pretty good showdown cards. There's some leaks that we have to look at as well with these showdown items. And the content from yesterday was actually kind of good. I thought it was solid. We have a new tab here in the SBC section called the showdown series. And we actually have an upgrade pack that they released the 75 plus times five. And I want to talk about that a bit too, because this could be a bang in SBC to help you craft SBCs throughout this week and maybe save for team of the season. So I want to talk about that and how the market is exploding, especially on those fantasy foot cards as they have gone out of packs and talk everything related to showdown series in today's video. So if you're excited for the upload today, hit a thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe if you are new. Now we don't have an official promo page about the show, showdown series promo, but we had this little message from the FIFA team they posted in game yesterday. Showdowns working as usual, and this promo ends on Thursday, the 7th of April, which is a very interesting date. We'll maybe talk about that as we head later throughout this week, but it's kind of weird that this promo is ending on Thursday. We might have something else coming on Friday, but each team, of course, if they win, they get a plus two. If it's a draw, they get a plus one on all of these cards that are being released as showdowns right now. And the showdown players will upgrade on April 8th and April 12th. Now, this is kind of interesting. They gave us set dates for when these cards are going to upgrade. I guess I presume that if like guys like McKenny, Brozovic, and um, you know these types of players that have games this weekend, maybe those will upgrade first. And the cards, of course, uh, that play in the Europa League or maybe the Champions League games on like Wednesday or Thursday, maybe those will take a little bit longer to get upgraded. I'm not entirely sure, but it is nice to have set dates for when these cards will upgrade. We kind of know when that's going to happen. We're not left waiting and wondering when that's going to be. So that is kind of nice. But that's how this promo, that, that's the gist of this promo, right? We are getting showdown cards via SBCs and objectives. Nothing in packs, right? As we were talking about the potentials for that, there was nothing in packs. Doesn't seem like they're going to add anything into packs as a part of this promo. But there's a lot of showdowns that have been added, right? We said something yesterday about eight showdowns that were leaked to be added. Here's a few more leaks that we have coming in this next week of content for showdowns. Weghorst and Richarlison. This is for a Wednesday Premier League um, midweek game between these two teams. Two cards that have not had special items this year. Weghorst looks un like unreal for a really, like a, basically a truck. But, you know, if headers are your thing, that guy's going to get the job done. And then a special Richarlison, that's got some hype as well. That could be a pretty good card. I don't know if these are leaked stats or not, but that was one of the leaks from yesterday. We also have the Rat coming back into FIFA 22 with a special card, Ryan Kent. Everybody's excited about this card. Ryan Kent's going to be getting a showdown later on this week as well. Him and Madero's here. It is going to be center forward, and I think these are confirmed stats. So, really, a lot of us are rooting for Rangers uh, for Kent to get his special card upgraded for the first time this year in FIFA 22. We have that showdown. I believe we have one more. Uh, Carvalho and Tavernier. This is not James Tavernier. This is his brother, Marcus Tavernier from Middlesbrough. Um, some league, the EFL championship sides here in the potential showdown coming later on this weekend as well. But as we even look into today on Saturday, I think there is only one SBC that we should expect today on Saturday, unless they're going to drop multiple. But this one like has to come today. It is the Braithwaite versus Suso, Suso Barcelona versus Sevilla showdown. This like has to happen because this game is tomorrow. So I don't know if this SBC is going to be available for 24 hours or what they're going to do, but they have to drop this today uh, because this game is literally tomorrow. So Braith White, Suso, two cards that could be very good. We'll have to see the price point. But again, as we've seen, as we looked at 
like all of these showdown SBCs have been great value. The most expensive showdown SBC we have had this year was the Eric Bailly showdown where it was 193,000 coins. That was like the most expensive one that we have had this year. So EA continues to release great cards in this game when they do showdowns. I think that's going to continue throughout the week this week. Now, of course, as a part of yesterday's content as well, we had the objective Yarmolenko and Mendez, right? Mendez is nice for those Brazilian and Liga and links. Pretty solid card. I think a lot of people, myself included, are rooting for this Yarmolenko. Position change Yarmolenko. And it, if you compare the card here and, and click right stick down and look at the item, it says he's two-star weak foot, four-star skills, and medium low work rates. But if you go into concepts or on footbin and actually look, it's a glitch. It's a visual glitch only. Yarmolenko is four-star, four-star with high, low work rates. I'm definitely getting this card done because this one for me, this is pretty sick. It's a position change. I know he's not going to be the most meta card, but it's just flat out cool. So I'm a big fan of that Yarmolenko boost that they did there. GG's to EA Sports. And it's nice to have an objective showdown as well. So we had the objective yesterday. We had the SBC, which I ended up doing the McKinney SBC right away. I think 140,000 coins. I really hope that he gets upgraded. I did him, of course, because I am a USA fan. I think Brozovic looks pretty solid as well, but I think McKinney was the card that most people were the most excited about, um, and a lot of people are doing that card. Now, Brozovic looks pretty solid too. Medium, medium work rates. Three-star, four-star. Potential upgrade here. Links to Perisic, right? We talked about that when we saw the leak that was out earlier. So that was kind of cool to get that showdown from yesterday. Very, very solid reviews. Nothing wrong with those. If they don't work out for your squad, that's fine. I know not everybody is doing either or both these SBCs. There's a lot more showdowns uh, that are coming. But as a part of content yesterday as well, we had this 75 plus times five upgrade. And I do want to talk about this here just for a second because... I think this SBC is, and I, I think I've rinsed my entire club. I don't know if I have any golds to turn into this. Shoot, I'll turn in gold rares. I don't even care. This SBC to me is a huge W. I think this, this SBC is a, a big, big W, um, which actually I'm not going to be able to open this pack uh, because I do have cards in my unassigned, but we can fix that really fast. Um, this SBC is awesome. I opened this SBC yesterday. Uh, this is actually going to sound really crazy. I opened the first one of these that I opened yesterday. I packed Cristiano Ronaldo inside of it, and there was no cards below the rating of 80 inside of this SBC. So it's kind of like, you know, you know how we have the 85 times 10 grind. I know it's nowhere near like an 85 times 10 repeatable grind, but I think that this pack being out is, is a W. I think it's such a W for the potential uh, that we have. And I have cards on a sign because I bought some cards that dropped a lot yesterday. Uh, but I think there's just a huge potential to save those packs for uh, team of the season. And that's why I think this SBC deserves some hype and deserves some praise is because it is an absolute W of an SBC. Now, let me open up this pack here really fast just to see what we can get from it. Since last time I opened it, I got Cristiano Ronaldo. But I think this type of pack right here is going to be a really cheap grind. You get five players and I didn't even pack a board. Uh, I'm going to be getting Thorgan Hazard. But I just think this gives you a great opportunity to craft uh, this week. If you're a BPM, if you like grinding BPM, this is a great SBC for you as well. Because you can do like bronze pack method and then craft into the upgrades, bronze, silver, and gold upgrades. Which evidently they moved, by the way. If you can't find those, the normal bronze, silver, and gold upgrades are under the foundations tab right now. Because they added the showdown series where all the showdowns are going to be showing up uh, this week of content. So that's kind of being found in there. But I just think this is a great craft, right? I love it. I, the pack weight's not going to be amazing. You're not going to pack insane stuff. But it does seem like EA has kind of upped the pack weight in general um, with fodder specifically over these past few days. So, you know, with that being said, I think that SBC is a really, really great craft. Um, and maybe you try to stock some of those and hold on to them as we have like team of the season most consistent or community team this season probably as our first tots that we will see in the next couple of weeks now also yesterday we had this bronze challenge which was a little bit of an april fool's joke uh shout out to ea sports for having some fun with that i think it was like a small rare gold players pack it was like half of a 50k or something like that i didn't get anything from it uh i think i got like an 84 rated card or something nothing that great but it was nice it was a fun little sbc a little bit of a trick so that was a GG. The the pack code that we did see yesterday in the video was uh, legit. It wasn't fake. So that's kind of the showdown series promo in a nutshell. And I'm a fan of it. I really are. I, get, I really am. Again, 
I think these cards they're releasing are all going to be pretty solid value. And there's just going to be so many options and so many fun cards that we're going to be able to craft, even though it's like a non-promo week. I think this is the best non-promo week that we will have ever seen in FIFA with how the cards are going to be releasing with the potential upgrades and stuff like that. I'm a big fan of it, being completely honest. So with that being said, let's take a look again at today because with that content yesterday, um, what are we going to see today? I think we're going to just see the showdown that I, that I mentioned before with the Braithwaite and the Suso. This is probably going to be the SBC that we would see today. I don't know if they're going to add anything else to the game as a part of this content wise for today. I wouldn't expect anything crazy uh, to be completely honest. But what we more so have today on Saturday are games. Starting off early today, early for me, early in the afternoon for most of you guys that are watching this video, Liverpool Watford, the big piece today for a lot of the games is the potential upgrades for these fantasy foot cards. Of course, you have guys like Sissoko. These guys have gone up big time out of packs. He was like 480,000 coins. I mean, you see this rise, right? Sissoko was 440. Then yesterday, he went from 450 to 490 and has been chilling around that 480 range since then. I really just think that a lot of these fantasy cards rose out of packs because A, people invested, but B, they're looking forward to these games coming this week. And that's why today is such a big day. But like, as we've seen the Vertonghen card drop off in price a little bit after uh, Benfica lost the game today, there's a lot of people that are putting a lot of coins on the line investing in these fantasy foot cards. So again, as I'm saying, you take a little bit of a risk if you're still holding on to these cards right now. If they have a game early today, uh, you know, a guy like Sissoko, right? He's kind of our first example from one of our earliest games happening today on Saturday. They're definitely not favorites, right? They're definitely not favorites in, the, in this game today against Liverpool. But, you know, they score an early goal first. That Sissoko card's probably going to jump up in price. If they get scored on first, Sissoko is probably going to drop down a little bit in price, right? That's kind of the... the the worry or the issue that you have today with some of these games. I mean, it's all across the different leagues, right? You got some Bundesliga cards that are in, in action today. Uh, you've got some Serie A, a couple of those cards are in action today. Of course, you've got Nani, right? With Venezia, he's in action today. That's a lot of people have been watching uh, that card for potential upgrades. Sirigu is in action today. Torino, right? Uh, Lazio Sassuolo, I don't know if we have any of those cards in this promo, but that's the big part about the market today. Now, the market has bounced back big time. Since the content yesterday didn't involve anything in relation to cards and packs, it really wasn't a day where a lot of coins were drained off of the market and there wasn't any supply on the market. What you really saw is, again, the fantasy foot cards from Team 2 rose very nicely. A tall 230, bomb was like 350K. The Martinelli's that I bought, he has gone from 525,000 coins all the way to 600,000 coins. Like I bought a couple more down in here. He has exploded. Now Arsenal, I believe, don't play until Monday. So it's it's a little bit of a longer hold for this card since he doesn't play until Monday. You're kind of waiting for that game against Crystal Palace to see uh, what we will do with this Martinelli card since I bought a decent amount of him. But also if you bought Road to the Finals that went out of packs yesterday, a lot of those did very well. Uh, Tiago is up like... 20,000 coins. Hernandez was 570. He's now 620,000 coins. Kyle Walker, I believe too. I might have to check Kyle Walker on the market because I was buying this guy at 395 and I believe he might now even be all the way up to like 430,000 coins. So a lot of your cards that just got rare uh, after going out of packs, they just kind of bump. Oh my goodness. How much? Oh my gosh. How much is this dude? 450 for Kyle Walker. Oh, wow. Yeah, these cards have just gotten rare and they've bounced up. So I know we were a bit skeptical, um, not really in the road to the finals, but investing in some of these fantasy foot cards. But if you pick the right ones, uh, it's it's a huge, huge W. So again, if you want to keep the safe route active here with these cards and with these investments like this Martinelli, I mean, the only thing that's going to make all of them drop at once would be some insane team of the season, like rumors or hype or leaks or something like that. If you have a card that plays today, like that Sissoko, again, you could take the safe cash and sell into the hype. Um, and, you know, if you want to, you're like, man, Sissoko, maybe today before the game, he rises back up a little bit, right? You, you've seen him hit 480, 490,000 coins. The safe route here is to sell in the hype before the game or during the game if you want. Um, and then you don't have to worry about what happens post game, right? Because whatever happens post game, since a lot of people have invested in, in these cards from team one, 
and from team two, I honestly think what you will see is you're going to see a bit of drop off after the game. That's why I'm really curious to see how these cards move on the game today, unless they're going to be locking in those upgrades. Like again, we talked about uh, for the games today on Saturday, you've got in the Serie A, you've got Spezia and Venezia playing today. So a lot of eyes are going to be on this Nani card, right? He's up to 615,000 coins. If he doesn't play, if they lose, uh, you know, all those combinations together, even if these guys aren't included in the starting lineups, right? And if that's unusual for any of these players, I, I just think that there is potential today for some of these cards to drop off if their team plays and they don't perform well. Also potential for them to go up a little bit if their team plays and they do perform well. So selling in the hype is my favorite thing to do with cards like this. And I think it's a big time play. And especially after seeing people kind of react negative, negatively to the Vertonghen from yesterday. I mean, Vertonghen was like 20, he was like 24K. During the game, he bounced up all the way to 28,000 coins. But then as you can see after the game, since they didn't perform well, people are selling this card. But in reality, I bought a Vertonghen for like 24K. I'm not selling this because again, he has got uh, how many games? Is it? He's got four more games left, right? Here's a live updating, updating tracker. By foot sheriff's graphics guy mr criminal fifa on twitter this is only his first appearance so we got it he got an appearance he started the game he played for like 65 minutes they just didn't win the game or get a clean sheet the next game he could win the game and they could have a clean sheet and then boom all of a sudden he goes to an 88 rated card and the hype is there again right if you bought one of the lower tier cards there's no fear in in really losing coins from those today you know if you bought a um an odria zola a core, a Jose Sa. If you bought any of these cards because you're wanting them to get upgrades and then they will become like a higher rated fodder card and they'll go up in price just because of that, like Alvarez or Sirigu or this Vertonghen, there's no need to sell any of those cards. In fact, if they drop off too much, there's a more of a reason to buy them again, right? It's just It just means that they would not get their upgrade and they would not become that higher tier fodder, higher rated fodder right away so that's kind of what's going on with these cards but i'm so excited to watch these games today i'm not even i'm not even lying i'm so excited to watch the scores to watch what happens it's going to impact the market a lot there's going to be a lot of movements there's going to be a lot of price fluctuations so maybe turn on especially if you have any of the players that are going to be in action today like let's say you have um like john stones right you know, turn on whatever app you use to follow scores and games. I love SofaScore. No ad, by the way. Just absolutely love this website. You know, turn notifications on, right? Because a goal is scored or a player gets injured or a player gets a yellow or red card. Like if a John Stones or, you know, Sissoko were to get a yellow or red card, that would hurt their chances for the upgrade, obviously. And then you might see their card drop off in price. That's why I think selling in the hype hype is a safe thing to do today with a lot of these cards. Now, taking a look at my own personal account, what if I invested in? What's going on with my account at the moment? I bought a bunch of uh, Martinelli's, right? You can see 525, 524, I have a bunch of these. I have some Tiago Road to the Finals at like 480K. He's up like 30, 30,000 coins-ish. Uh, the Martinelli's I'm gonna hold on to, but you know, like Bamba, does Bamba play today? This is where it requires a little bit of your own research. Um, yeah, Bamba Lille plays Bordeaux today. Bordeaux is last in the table. I think that's why a lot of people were investing in this Bamba. So I got this for 288 and on the market right now, Mr. Bamba, I think is like 345 as we as we just checked out. So, you know, I might hold this card, hold this guy until the game tomorrow, but I know so many people have invested in this Bamba card. He's all the way up to 350,000 coins. You know, I'm I'm gonna start thinking about potentially cashing this card out now. If if Bamba were to start and and he scores or gets an assist and they win the game, then this card might go to like 375 for for a hot minute before people start undercutting and and dropping below. Because uh, I don't think these upgrades are gonna happen right away. I think it's gonna take a couple of days for EA to put these upgrades intact. A lot of times, like we've been talking about on Wednesdays, they upgrade headliners. I think that's gonna be the same way they do with these. But the hype for the upgrades is really where you have to sell these cards when they upgrade and stuff like this. So that's kind of what I would do with these today. It's going to be on a card by card situation. Now, again, back to the transfer list for a second and what's going on. I do have some Bamba uh, or just one. I bought a bunch of Kyle Walkers at like 390 and to see him already back up to 450 is incredible because we're going to make a lot of coins in this Kyle Walker. I'm probably going to hold those still until the Champions League game, most likely, unless we start to get some rumors of like team of the season type stuff. I'm just going to hold on to these. I bought some Barellas today because with the 
release of the McKinney and Abrozovich, this guy was like 170 or 180. He dropped all the way down to 120. I think he's rising back up a little bit. Uh, Barella is currently 135, so he's up 10K. I bought some Hernandez. I got some on Snipe at 550. That was a big dub. He's like 620K at the moment. Um, and then I bought some Maitland Niles at 120 as well because he was being panic sold because of the Serie A midfielders that were dropping today. I got a Depay for a million coins, listing that up like crazy right now just to see if I get anything nuts. And then I bought a Rio at a million coins trying to flip this card. Just, just listing a lot of stuff for lazies at the moment, listing some of my other cards on my transfer list, you know, some fodder just for lazies. Now, speaking of fodder, um, as my PlayStation is telling me that my controller batteries are low, uh, we need to look at fodder just for a second because these prices have actually started to creep up a little bit because there was no supply and there's people that are going out and investing and doing some SBCs. So 84s, 85s, 86s, I think a lot of people were buying 86s at like 12,000 coins, 12 and a half K. Now a lot of them are reaching towards the 14 to 15,000 coin range. They're just slightly starting to inch up in price, right? All the Ramos is that I bought at like 27 K. He's about 30,000 coins. I just without the supply this week and still having SBCs in the section, there's going to be a lot of SBCs coming out this week, this week right? Showdowns. I would I presume that EA is going to re-release some sort of icon pack like we've been talking about. This fodder is probably going to slowly rise throughout the weekend until we get something uh, until, until we get something crazy or until EA drops some supply somewhere on this game. So that's kind of how I feel about fodder at the moment as well. It's going to seem a bit, a bit like a slower week on FIFA, right? I know some people are going to look at this and be like, man, there's not a lot of content. There's not a lot to do, but I will say this. I think there's going to be a lot of movements on the market, which is going to create a great opportunity to trade with cards and make some coins. And, uh, you know, there, it's just really grindable content, you know, with the 75 plus times five that is out with all these showdowns that are out, even if you don't really want these guys, you know, if you don't want Tiago Mendez or Yarmolenko, you might as well go do both of them for fodder, right? We have a huge promo upcoming with Team of the Season where fodder is very important to have if you're going to do a lot of SBCs that come out during that time frame. The content is always fire. So even spending a little bit of time this week finishing grinding out your icon swaps or grinding out these two cards right here, which is not that hard of a grind, honestly. It's gold and gold in these friendly modes. It's pretty easy and you know, you're going to have some 88 rated fodder cards in your club with the potential of either of them going to an 89 or one of them going to a 90 later on this week as well. So that's, I just think there's some cool cards to attain this week. Um, and the market should be very interesting to follow with all of the live cards, with the upgrades and the movements that we will have there. So that's going to keep us occupied for this week. And then again, we're just kind of waiting for whatever announcement team of the season is going to bring us. We don't have anything right now, but the minute that we get that, we're going to have to talk a lot about it because that is going to impact the market a ton when we start to get that information. So I know I'm recording this video a little bit earlier on my Friday night than usual. So if I missed any lease or any information around what's happening today on Saturday, I apologize. But uh, I, I really don't think it's going to be that insane of a day. I really just think it's going to be a lot of people watching the live cards. Thank you, Mr. Rio, you sold. Let's go. I felt broke having only 700K. But when you have 15 mil invested, you got to watch the prices of your cards because it, got, it gets you thinking a lot. So yeah, I think today is going to be another pretty quiet day. The Braithwaite could be nice. Again, you might watch that Depay card for some movements on the market with some uh, Barcelona links maybe being um, a, a forefront today of some hype if that Braithwaite card is really good and if EA gave him a really nice juiced, a juiced card, that could be something you watch out for today on the game as well. So that's going to be the video for today, lads. Hope you have a good weekend. I am playing Weekend League, by the way. Um, and at the moment, I have five wins. So got to keep the train going. I don't know what rank I'm going to get. Hopefully get some good reds and uh, some good packs that will probably start our pack save for team of the season. Since that won't be that far away, might as well start saving some packs for that promo. But if you guys did enjoy the video today, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Vote Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.